my perfect pineapples, and welcome to another peachy episode of Third Queen with me, your host, Johnny McGovern. Today's show is going to be bananas. Our guest has the rare title of being a double all-star, and she's been snatching our attention since her time on the race back in the golden age. Lean forward and kiss your computer screens for the gorgeous, the hysterical, the thriller we know as Manila, Manila Luzon on the show today. Mm, mm, mm. But before she slays on out here, I need to introduce my emotional support orchestra, Mr. Adam Joseph and Mr. Eric Attar. It's the emotion, the turn of phrase. It's like you're trying to get someone's attention. Hey, hey, hey. And they're like, what? You're like, hey, queen. <laughs> Just a little hello. Just a little ditty. Now, is this a theme look that you're giving today? Because it kind of looks like you're a specter coming to get Andy Warhol. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you a little gothic Lolita moment. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's, you know, the kids are into that again. These oh, days. yes. Yes, and they are. Hit, and I'm very young. <laughs> very, very young. Have you ever <laughs> seen an old person with a glitter brow and a glitter ear? No, not at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. And no one would think Adam Joseph is old, even with his white and snow hair. Look at that young this face. This is not natural. I just want everyone to know I dyed it this color. Mm. So windswept today. Yeah. I love it. No, there's a breeze in the studio, <laughs> only in one section of the studio. It's a slipstream over here. I don't know what's going on. Now, we've known Miss Manella since back in the day in New York City, honey. She's an old school sis. Yes. For sure. Well, Emotional Support <laughs> Orchestra, show them how you do it. Hit it. She was trapped and rough, but she carried on. Manila, Manila, la, 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 Luzon. And we'll be back with Manila right after this very gay break. She was chopped and robbed, but honey, she carried on with the business of being one of the biggest superstars of drag. Of course, it's Manila Luzon. She was chopped and robbed, but she carried on. Manila, Manila, la, 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 Luzon. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, I queen. Hey, queen. Honey. You know, this is like it's been. I've been stuck in quarantine, so the the wardrobe has been like beckoning me. Like it calls me. It's like put me on, wear me for something. <laughs> right. You know. So I'm really excited to like actually be like shave my legs, get my shoes on, mm -hmm. do my nails. This, this, this. And look at all of it. It looks so glamour, honey. Cruella de who? No. <laughs> Look at her. Who Look at her. her. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy to get you back here. You're in a very exclusive club. You, this is your third Hey Queen appearance. I know. I know. I hear if I'm on Hey Queen two more times, I get the jacket. You do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now, Erica Tor and Adam, our good New York City sis, right here in the purse and in the building. The NYC in the house. Yes. It is like a Old little school. NYC reunion right now, for That's sure. why Erica is wearing her cuntiest New York City glitter brow and ear <laughs> for you. <laughs> we gotta put a little sparkle on for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Manila, we don't have any time to waste. It's time for the tea. The tea. You were robbed! <laughs> 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 More importantly, you have a new video called Robbed with Latrice Royale. Now, you sneaky little bitches at home, yes, we're going to get into all the business of why Manila was robbed. But first, let's talk about her new single and animated video. Um, yeah, well, okay, so the song Robbed was kind of like a follow-up to, to Latrice and my song, the, uh, 
the chop, mm -hmm. you know, because last time it got chopped, right? <laughs> and this time it was robbed. So I kind of wanted to do a little, uh, a little like uh, duet with her. So I was able to get into the studio, and then you know our schedules after All Stars Four were just so booked solid that we could not get our schedules to meet to like film a music video. So I was like, screw it, let me just have it animated because. That way I don't have to be there. I don't have to get up and drag. <laughs> Someone else does all the work. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so we had a beautifully animated music video um, from the good people at Chaos Emporium dot ink or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, so shout out to them uh, for making this uh, really cool thing happen. Like, it's like every drag queen's dream to become a cartoon. Like, I feel like a cartoon, so now I'm like, I get to be a cartoon. It was, I was quite an achievement. I was like, look at her, it's not just a little bit of animation. That's the whole damn thing. Yeah, and it's not just like South Park animation, like 2D, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Gumby, um, like claymation. No, it's like legit animation. I, I was shocked because I was like, make me something simple. You know, I don't got that much money. We don't got that much time. Uh, it cost a lot of money. It took for fucking ever. That's why, it, that's why it came out like a year and a half after right. the fact that I was kicked off Drag Race. But um, you know, it was cool because with an animation, you could literally do anything. So Latrice and I went on a bank heist. Um, we <laughs> we rob a makeup truck. We like I robbed the crown yeah. back. I live. It's like all that stuff I could not afford to do if I was going to film a music video in real life. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And yeah, also, it's the perfect quarantine video. You didn't have to show up. You didn't have to shoot. Exactly. <laughs> I know. It was actually, it actually was perfect because, like, you know, it had, we had been working on it for several months. And, like, when I finally was able to release it, it was like, Mwah. Perfect. Uh-huh. Now, did you get any heat from people who were like, she's still singing about being robbed? <laughs> I mean, here's the deal. Like, <laughs> Drag Race is like now like etched in stone. It's forever in history, you know what I mean? So like, if people think that I'm robbed, I'm gonna be robbed. If you watch it over again, you're gonna like, if you felt that way the first time, you probably gonna feel the same way the second time. So I'm just leaning into it, baby. Yes, okay? baby. I, I, didn't get the, I didn't get the check. I didn't get the crown. Okay, so, you know, let me like make my money that way, right? Yes, honey. Sweetie, it's time to get into it. Get into it. Get into it. We gotta talk about All Stars, Mama. Sure, of course. <laughs> Wowie, wow, zow. Um, uh, so, you came back for the second time. Yeah. What was your thought when you got the call? I was like, oh, really? <laughs> like, wasn't I already on there? Like, don't you have like 150 other queens you could be asking? <laughs> um, no, when they asked me, I was, I was thrilled because like, the first time I was on All Stars was the first season and they did the partners thing right. and it was like there were only six episodes and it seemed very rushed and whatever. Um, and this time like now they've like kind of had a format and whatever. And also enough time had gone by, like almost eight years had gone, or six years, seven years maybe, had gone by since I was on the last All Stars, the first All Stars. So it was, a, it was an honor to get to go back. You know, so I was like, sure, sign me up. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an excuse to buy more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> now, your looks that season were so on point, so witty, so curated, so perfect. Was that stuff from the years of drag that you had done between All Stars and that? Or was that all creations for the show? You know, Drag Race makes it very difficult for us queens because... Ba back in my day, uh -huh. <laughs> the categories were like sequence or ruffles right. <laughs> or best drag. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like, you know, Anna Wintour at Fashion Week on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like very specific um, categories. So everything was, was conjured up and made and produced for All Stars. Mm -hmm. The only outfit that I wore on the show that was just because I had it and I wanted to wear it was the spaghetti dress. Oh and that was only because I had gained immunity that week, so I didn't have, there was the Rupalapalooza where all the queens had to do a lip sync battle to yes. stay in the competition. Yeah. Um, I got I got immunity, so I just had to show up in an outfit that looked cute. Uh -huh. So I was like, well, <laughs> 
Well, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna throw this look because it's so fucking cute, my little spaghetti look, for uh, sure. There were so many adorable looks. What is your, what are your favorites? What's the top two? Spaghetti is one of them, or um, there's so I, many good choices. Oh, I love the spaghetti look because it's so me, because I love fruit-based, food-based, um, you know, my pineapple dress <laughs> right? and you know, whatever. Um, so I love that look. Um, but I really, really, really love that silver gown I wore on the second episode mm. when it had like the gray updo with all the rhinestones yes. and it just had that trumpet skirt and it was just so beautiful. Now you were cuffed to Latrice for the return of Latrilla. <laughs> when Latrice told us about the time that they told you you were gonna be cuffed and enter, she said, that doesn't sound like we're gonna be in the promo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that does, because, uh, you know, because on season three, we had Shangela show up in a box. Right, yeah. And we all did the promo shoot, and she was on any of the billboards or any of the promotion. So we thought, like, oh, like, is this going to be, like, a secret? Like, is this the gag? Are we not going to get to experience, like, promoting ourselves so that we can get the gigs yeah. after the show? Because I got to pay for all these damn costumes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, luckily, um, with Reddit, uh, <laughs> everyone already knew who was right. on the fucking show. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they, they were... They were um, they allowed us to be in the promos, yeah. thank God. And how was that day shooting the promo? Because that was a great one, the Ice Princesses, right? Oh, yeah. I, that was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But, like, doing it, like, looking at the promo and then, like, seeing us all together looks fantastic. But it really, really felt like such a rushed thing for us, you know? Because it was just like, get some iridescent outfits, <laughs> you know? And then... <laughs> Here you go. We're, and it was just like a blank stage that they kind of just lit up with like pretty lights. And I was like, this is it. And they had like this weird iridescent rock. And I was like, okay. <laughs> was like, I, I saw like the last season, like the girls were like on gold pedestals right. with like, you know, whatever. And I was like, okay. And then they had us like sing, because it was coming out in the winter, they had us like singing these like Christmas carols. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, sure. All right. But no, I had a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> So you and Latrice hit the competition. What were your thoughts that very first day? Were you looking around? Because, honey, you came to win. With that wardrobe, you came to win. Hello, children. 